Two years ago, I put together what was my vision of the ultimate laptop docking station. I had a Lenovo T430 with the Lenovo dock, a LG ultrawide monitor, a laptop stand slash monitor mount combo, mechanical keyboard, random mouse that I found on Amazon for cheap, uh, and of course an APC uh, surge protector. So basically went all out with that and I was really happy with it because it just made my life a lot easier. I could take the workflow uh, from my T430, anything that I was working on at school or work, uh, I could close the laptop, put it to sleep, and then when I got home, I could immediately transfer my mobile workflow over to a desktop workflow by simply putting the laptop on the docking station and turning it on. And voila, that work would appear on the docking station monitor, which was much larger than the T430 screen. Uh, since then, I have made some upgrades to the docking station. I uh, switched over from the T430 to a W541 workstation, which uh, I am really loving, and I do have a video coming up on that soon. And by the way, if you want to check out the video uh, where I put together the older version of the Ultimate uh, Laptop Docking Station, that link will be down in the description. But today, we are going to be making the Ultimate Laptop Docking Station even more epic, because I have in front of me a BenQ 2870U 4K UHD monitor, one millisecond response time, 28 inches, uh, and BenQ sent this over as a review sample. So what better way to test it than to use it uh, every single day uh, in my docking station setup. So this is gonna replace a smaller monitor, and this is gonna be what I like to call the coding monitor. So it's gonna act as a secondary vertical monitor. So I can just take an IDE where I'm developing Python, C++, JavaScript, etc., etc throw it up on this monitor and have a lot of vertical screen real estate, uh, especially at this 4K resolution. You're gonna be able to fit a lot of code onto this. On top of that, I also have this Velocifier mini keyboard uh, that I bought because our old mechanical keyboard uh, died. So I tossed out the old keyboard and ordered this Velocifier mini mechanical keyboard, wireless mechanical keyboard off Amazon for around 35 bucks. I mentioned earlier that I have made some upgrades to the docking station setup since its initial conception, including the addition of this secondary monitor. What I failed to mention was that I also swapped out the primary monitor. So as I said earlier, initially we had a LG ultra wide monitor as the primary monitor and I swapped it out with this 32 inch 32 inches, that's right. I needed something even bigger than that uh, LG Ultrawide monitor because my eyesight's just getting worse and worse. And the monitor that I'm gonna be uh, getting rid of is this monitor, which is already in my uh, coding configuration. So we're gonna pull this off uh, and then put the uh, BenQ monitor right here. Now, I made a mistake with this because I did not order a DisplayPort cable. Uh, out of all the cables and junk I have in the back, I do not have a single DisplayPort cable for some reason. So what I'm going to have to do uh, is go on Amazon Prime now and order one with one hour shipping. Because this has HDMI, um, and I have an HDMI cable, but it's only HDMI 1.4. And if we want to get the full uh, 4K 60fps out of that monitor, uh, we need to use DisplayPort 1.2. So I've hit a snag here. The BenQ monitor won't do above 1080p while hooked up to DisplayPort. It will do 4K while hooked up to HDMI because I did test that. I had this monitor running at uh, 1080p and this one at 4K through HDMI. But if I tried to bump the resolution up to 4K, or actually if I bump the resolution to anything besides 1080p, the monitor just blacks out. It looks like that issue's just isolated to the Ultra Dock because it's doing uh, 4K 60 hertz through my 1060 right now. Um, but it will not do it through the display ports on the dock, no matter what I try. So I tried updating the uh, graphics drivers to the latest version. I updated the firmware for the uh, docking station, and I just can't figure it out. So I think I'm going to give up on this one. And I don't like saying that, but it looks like I'm going to have to give up on this one uh, and just use a DVI to HDMI cable. And that is just an absolutely ludicrous amount of screen real estate. We have our 32 inch 1080p LG monitor right here and then the 4K 28 inch monitor right beside it. And yes, we are limited to 24 frames per second as I will demonstrate right now. So we have nice and smooth 60 frames per second on the uh, LG monitor. And over here we have 
Uh, 24 frames per second. It's not that bad since this is once again mainly going to be the coding monitor. So I'm not too worried about that frame rate. I am going to investigate a little bit more to see if I can't get the display port to work properly on this docking station. I don't know why. Um, it wouldn't work on the Ultra Dock, it should work on the Ultra Dock, and I'm gonna have to probably do a lot of digging to figure out what's up with this. And I know I'm gonna get some comments about this gap right here and how it's not flush with the uh, LG monitor, and I can't make it flush because the BenQ monitor has a little chin right here. So there's no way I can get it completely flush with the 32-inch uh, LG monitor, unfortunately. And of course, we can't forget about this little mechanical keyboard. And so far, so good. Plugged in the dongle. Everything uh, is just working with that right now. I'll type some random stuff out into uh, Notepad++. And you can see that's working a-okay. Really like this form factor. It doesn't take up that much space at all. I think this is technically called a 60% a, a keyboard. Um, since it's missing the uh, function keys and the arrow keys, it's much smaller um, than your normal, you know, uh, compact keyboard. So that's going to be about it for this video, guys. Here is one final look at our upgraded Ultimate Docking Station setup. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and drop a comment down in the comment section. Ah, section. Jeez, losing it. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to support us, you can use our Amazon or eBay affiliate links. You can also support us by checking out our Patreon page. And of course, if you're interested in anything that I used here today, any of the products that we have uh, added to the docking station, which I guess really is just the uh, BenQ monitor and that uh, Velocity Fire keyboard, uh, once again, the links to those will be down in the comment section. If you're, you know, a little bit more curious about how I put this together initially, once again, I do have a video on that, and that link will also be down below. So, one last time, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology, which will be a video about that W541.